Tonight, from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Taylor Heineke and the Washington Commanders. Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. Joey Sly, the kicker, ready. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback his third season Jalen Hurts tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield and don't underestimate his ability to think the game remember he's the son of a coach a throw left side to start to drive is complete they'll wind up getting seven on the play and it'll be second down I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick down, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. One yard is the game, and it'll be a Philadelphia first down. And when all you want to do is keep your drive going, the quarterback sneaks a great call, isn't it? Pick it up, get a new set of downs. And on third down, you know, usually you think fourth down quarterback sneak. There, though, it worked on third. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got the lead guy running it pretty well, too. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. It's a second down run with Sanders. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one if people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. Are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that'll keep the defense honest. 
and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. A first down throw for Heineke. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Throwing again on second down. Heineke. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by a team Maddox. Now the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. The way they're moving the ball down the field. They had a big play a moment ago, followed up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Four yards of a touchdown grab. And the Eagles early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. First down, Heineke. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now Heineke. A throw with a flat here for McKissick. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Heineke on first down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with the pick. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Hurts. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And no room that time. Getting it to about the 46. Only a yard in the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And he pushed forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. Oh, the sneak gets hurt. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. But when you do call quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able under a heavy rush, and down he goes. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamin Davis. And the commanders are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now a 1,000-yard rusher a season ago, Antonio Gibson with it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there in the first down run. He gets maybe three. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Heineke now looking to throw on first down. This is a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington! Terry McLaurin, 42 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at seven. Scoring summary, three-play drive. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Four yards to pick up, first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, and that has got her tight end. Able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. Throwing his hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. A minimal gain as we tip down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They give it off here to the tight end. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Call 
solid a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Now a carry for Sanders. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Four yards to pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. His pass caught at the four. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And a big turnover there. His guys will get the football back. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. fumble they hand off to their big tight end and he is into the end zone touchdown philadelphia greg calcaterra taking it in from a yard out and the eagles have taken the lead elliot on for the extra point and he's got it it's now a 14-7 ball game an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Heineke. Flush to his right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Heineke now. 
He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath, put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. Heineke's throw taken in by Samuel. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Looking to throw, Heineke. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, Heineke. And he comes back with one complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Back to the ground with Gibson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Josh Schwett coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll roll him out right, and he wisely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play, and he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now Heineke on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Ron Rivera, the game on top, he comes up empty here. And the Eagles defense able to hold. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. Charles to drop a pass it's quite another to drop it on fourth down and so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs you know I've seen I've, you know you and I both been to practices where we've seen hey third down situation big third down alert lock in here fourth down play make sure you focus just a little bit extra it didn't pay off in that situation now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Sanders, and he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Taking a shot for Samuel. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. Three first-half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, 
but still three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Two straight runs of five yards, first and 10. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They go play action with Hurts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Now Sanders. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ball game. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. They'll run with Sanders. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they throw the deep ball, but it winds up being incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball, possibly in the open field. I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Heineke's throw into the hands of McLaurin. 
And the Commanders are going to be set for a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Throwing. Heineke. Steps away to his left. Taylor Heineke. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. The kick is through the uprights to tie this game, but hang on a second. We do have a flag. And that flag accepted. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense going to take over late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Eagles hustling to the line. Clock rolling. Looking middle and that's complete. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the commanders are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports. A happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. A run here for the rookie. It's Brian Robinson. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw is Heineke. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dug for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. <laughs> 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 
They'll run. It's Sanders. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 81 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. That's how the game will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles take the interception on defense and convert it into six. So this game tied at the half. We are tied no more. Touch and now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is now 21-14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it. 25 out there set ready for this next drive the Washington offense so now Charles this drive maybe a touch more important try to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game you're gonna have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result so frankly to me it's all about how you respond not just the types of plays that you call but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue to lead. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Heineke. And my goodness, another interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Boy, they get him yet again, Charles. Five interceptions in this game. You rarely see this, maybe a couple of times in a season, but this defense, they've been fantastic. It's certainly an example of watching a defense. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Cole Holcomb. And the Commanders are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Gibson again. And three yards there takes him to the 45. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple at first down. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. Now it's first and 10 after a costly penalty there on fourth down. 
A give up the middle to Gibson. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second and five now. Heineke. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On the draw, it's Gibson. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. So task a little bit more difficult now, second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now Heineke. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his second touchdown of the night. And the Commanders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and we are tied at 21. So that one a long 11-play drive. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. We got a brand new ball game, all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he powers his way up past the 30. A gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. 93 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up in. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he picks up about six as he gets it down to 41. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Brooks throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 
Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. On first down, Book. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Offense was moving a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 27-yard line. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. Second down and goal. Look. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have moved out in front. And that third counter there gives them the lead, and it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. Try and run it here. And he'll get into the end zone. That gives his guys an eight-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. They run the toss now with Gibson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 53 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Heineke's throw complete to Dotson. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. Again, it's Heineke. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Thomas. Five yards, now it's third and five. And as they come to the line, they will not 
might be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Washington on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. Heineke to throw it. Oh, no, he lost the football. to fumble down here in the red zone at least they got it they'll have another shot or no they won't have another shot it's gonna be fourth down maybe they can at least salvage three and they were thinking six points because at this position of the field it's go time right you take your shots at the end zone they weren't able to do that one so you look over at the sideline there's a head coach saying oh heck kick it field goal time so an interesting call there to take the three, but I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Book under pressure, and he'll go down. Deron Payne able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now a carry for Sanders, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Book. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Now the second-year man, here's Kenneth Gainwell. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Play action now. Book. Got a man. It's Brown. And they just keep marching right along. First down, a pickup of eight there. A clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. On first and ten, it's game well. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. With a heavy 
set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Off the play fake, here's Book. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. A straight ahead, it's game well. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Elliott good on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so bring it out to the 25. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Javon Hargrave, his second sack of the night. So after the sack here, second and 14. They're going to look to throw. Being chased out left. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. A nice job of eluding the pressure there. Scrambling for 11. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with Gibson. And he's not going to get there. Maybe he'd be close. It was of a yard and it brings up fourth. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's Tress Way now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fair catch call, it's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. They start the drive here with Gainwell, and they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. On second and nine. Look. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Seven catches for him now. This last one, a first down. Now Book. Airing it out deep for Smith. A leap, and he will make the catch. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. And a nice pick up there. It gets about five down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Gainwell again. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. Call it a gain of a yard.
Book now. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Cole Holcomb proving too much there for the offensive line. He gets the sack. The kick by Elliott is good. That will extend their lead even further. Still just need to go for one here. And it's good. So that will get them back within one score. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone. He's down at the 27. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration, because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, Life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And yeah, this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as he'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. Looks like he'll throw here. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. They're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw his book. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. He's going to let it fly. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And he's into the end zone. No flags, it's a touchdown. And now a two-point conversion. And we'll be tied here in the final. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. They'll try and throw for it. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time to come downfield and put some points on the board, but job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. 
And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you he's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. Well, if you're a fan of offensive football, this game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match than a football game. Back and forth, back and forth. And there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. This from 52, and this for the win. And this one is right down the middle. And the Eagles are going to win the football game. Normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.